All right, it's uh, time to get back on the dog. Time to play with some play. Okay, I'm gonna have to increase the, his back end because the uh, dog He's a lot thicker than I have him. Now this is not a, a new pup by any means. This is a puppy that uh, is still a puppy, but he's not uh, a new puppy. He's four to six weeks old, maybe. Something was bothering me about it, and that's what was bothering me. It was just too uh, narrow. So, just have to make him more puppy like. Cute. Oh, brother, I'm using the word cute. What have I come to? I gotta center his back. I read some stuff about the American Dingoes last night. They're actually better known as Carolina dogs. And uh, the thing that makes them very unique is that they've never been bred to become a breed, a pure breed. It uh, doesn't have a mix of a bunch of other dog breeds. They only recently discovered these dogs, and they were more or less in the South. But uh, they did exist on the West, out West too. But uh, anyway, that's just what I found out. Reading about it last time. They figure they came across the Bering Straits. Um, they figure they came across with the, uh, whoever came across the Bering Straits. And uh, it's fascinating when you think about it. I'm going to remove this leg while I'm working on the hind legs. I'm not going to attempt to do any fur texture because I think uh, that might be too much detail. I don't know. I'd like a 
said in the past, I'm going to play it by ear. Now I notice that the uh, this leg, the front leg, kind of overlaps the front toes of the dog, the puppy. And uh, so I'm going to do that. And it also has some fur behind the leg, which uh, makes it actually look a little thicker. And I'm also going to fill in that hole so that we don't have to cut that leg apart. Because nobody's going to see this part anyway because it's going to be right up against the uh, bronze. So. That'll take care of that problem. Okay. Just smooth everything out. Make it easier for the uh, mold maker to take the mold apart. The one thing about a Carolina dog is that they've got a very wide or broad head. And I don't have that. His eyes are too narrow. So I've got to widen his head a little bit. And I'm just going to take a, the eyes off. I'm just gonna and I gotta do it on both sides not a lot just a, a little wider okay take the ears off for now. I'm going to have to redo do those anyway, so might as well take them off now. Okay. Line up the eyes. All right, I'm going to let me get my clay back to where it's he centered here. Now that's because it's going to be the center line of the the head right there, and I want this eye to be the same distance from the center as this eye. And as you can see, I'm off. So I'm going to bring this eye out just a little bit more. There we go. Now we're better. Make sure they're even, or same frontal area.
I've got a feeling I'm going to have to continue this tomorrow on his face because it's a lot more complicated than I thought it was going to have to be. And which is not bad. I did notice something that I didn't catch before. There's a broad area right above the eye. I mean the nose or the nasal area or the snout that uh, separates the two two eyes. And uh, I neglected to uh, do that. Also his nostrils are crooked. So I've got to uh, straighten those out. There we go. That nostril is lower than the other nostril. Okay, good. It's just one constant adjustment after another. That's what you need to do. All right. That's going to have to do it for today. And uh, I'll pick this up tomorrow with uh, a new outlook on the face. Tomorrow I should be able to finish this dog. And then I can start working on her. Her neck is too narrow or too thin in the front and uh, I need to increase that and also I need to fill in around her arm. That makes more sense now on the face. All right, see you guys tomorrow. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.